we're ready for some baseball in Starkville. First one from Steven. Showing butt, pulling it back is Bingham. Their fifth best mark. It's been a big improvement from a defensive standpoint. Tommy drives one out toward deep left field. This one has got a chance, and it's gone. Big fly for Tommy White. And LSU gets on the board. It's 1-0 here at the top of the first. Well, Tommy tanks in the house early for LSU. But a little bit of a struggle, a little bit of a slow start for him. We saw him power a ball out last night for a home run out to right center field. This time he gets a ball just kind of down in the zone. And all he does is simply drop the head on it and a line drive out home run, his fourth long ball of the year. I think could be improved a little bit more, but it's certainly in a better place. Draw. Draws the walk. That is sky to deep left field. This one is long gone, but foul. Nope, long on. Home run. Two run shot, it's three nothing. Well, just when I say it's not the team last year that hit 142 home runs, you get Tommy White with a long one and then a two-run shot by the guy they called the Bear. Jared Jones powers out his seventh home run of the year, his 19th RBI, and LSU out of the gates quickly in this one. 3-2, and that is up the middle. Two-out base hit. Five and two-thirds of picking up the win for them. Breaking ball got him swinging for the third out, but not before LSU strikes. You get 13 players drafted. That's tough to overcome. Most of them were offensive players, obviously. Steven Milo jumping on that first pitch, but lines it out to Imani Larry. Behind the plate, number nine hitter. We'll shoot this one out to right field. It's a base hit. This one's out toward deep left field. This one's got a chance to get out of here, and it does. The long ball prevalent for LSU in the early part of this ball game. It's 5 nothing. Well, we talked about Cal Stevens and him being able to throw that fastball, and he will continue to throw that fastball. The problem he's having right now, if you go back and look at the three home runs, they've kind of been in the heart of the plate. A tremendous job, four, four years there. He's been to two College World Series and one run. But he's got to get going a little bit here. But the good news for them is they're off to a It's been more about the pitching or lack thereof and the defense. You know, it just hasn't been that good. This one off the glove of Milo. Goes into shallow center field. Moving to third is Isaac. And Aaron Downs is on board with a single. Falls in the dirt. And that will bring home a run for Mississippi State. Not much that Milazzo could do on that ball as a shot toward the mound area. This one's out toward right field. Playable makes a catch is Brady Neal and not moving on it is Downs at second base. I don't know if Downs thought maybe that ball's going to get over his head. You wonder how many innings he can give him this year. Got him swinging on a high fastball. Third out is recorded. The wild pitch brings home Mississippi State's first run. It's 5-1 LSU as we head to the third. Here's the payoff. Breaking ball, and that misses low. And you can see Coach Lamonis is upset. As he should be. I got to have one of those two. And yet, somehow, the offenses continue to get better and better. And this one's out toward left center field, hit well. Over at the track, near the wall, that is gone. Two run big fly for Hayden Travinsky. 7-1 LSU. And if you thought Coach Lem was hot before, he's hotter now. Yeah, you can still hear him, and I'm surprised he's still in this ball game too, because he is giving it to home plate umpire Ronnie T. And a 3-2. Breaking ball misses. That's it. And Black is nowhere near the strike zone. So that's the third walk he has issued in this inning. The 3-2 is down low. So it was about the uh, the play at second base. So Black got charged with a ball. He'll shoot this one into right field. There's a base hit. Scoring easily is Milo. Milazzo's being waved around. A throw from Jordan is up the line. Two-run RBI. A single for Tommy White. Extends the lead to 9-1.
It is one big party. Dead ball. Ground ball. Over the right side, and they'll go to second base, get the force out of Tommy White, but not before LSU strikes for four runs. Full count. Upstairs. Another walk. And that is a walk, the seventh issued by the Bulldog staff. That's how comfortable he looks at the plate as far as pitch recognition. This one's pulled up the line. Nice play, knocked down by the first baseman, Hunter Hines, and trying to score from second base is Pearson, and he is gunned down for out number three. Nice play by Hines, alertly to knock it down, and to get the out at the plate. Now, it's a very talented bunch that I think in the second half of the season is going to end up being, you know, better when, once they get that experience that we talk about, but it's a pretty young team for them right now. We'll shoot this one out toward left center field, giving Chase on his big up, it'll fall in for base hit. Rounding second, now heading to third base is Downs, and it will go as a double for Mississippi State. This one's down the left field line, hit well toward the corner, and that is gone. A three-run home run for Bryce Chance, second of the year. It is 9-4 to four LSU. Well, that's how you climb back in the ball game right there, folks. Hanging breaking ball. Bryce Chance out of that eight hole. A Weaver, a three-run shot. Mississippi State starting to climb right back in this thing. He'll swing first pitch, and that's lined in the left center field, a base hit. Yeah. LSU with some action in their bullpen. That breaking ball, did it get him? And it did. Down and in, got the foot of Amani Larry. 65 pitches thrown by jump so far. That's a called strike three. Got him looking. Dakota Jordan has not been missing much. This is bouncing over to Tommy White. Gets rid of it quickly, and the third out is recorded. But Mississippi State strikes for three on the home run by Bryce Chance. The exit velos are getting scary again, and there's a lot of offense in the game. Well, going deep to his right is Jones, and that was probably ill-advised. They were not going to get to play at first base. Their bullpen. There's ball four. The two on with one out. Those are his responsibility. This one shot out towards center field. Bingham coming on. He'll go into a dive and can't come up with it. It gets by him. One run is in. Heading to third base. Bryce Chance, the batter. Three run home run his last time up. He lifts this one out toward right center field. Bingham is there. Tagging at third is Downs. He's coming home to score. Sack fly. And it's a three-run deficit for Mississippi State. 9-6 LSU. Four RBI game for Bryce Chance so far. 3-1. That's a little bit down. Ball four. Another payoff on the way. And there's ball four, and they're loaded up. Runners off with the pitch, a 3-2, and that's lifted in the air. Shallow right. Playable for Brady Neal. Third out is recorded. Two runs in for Mississippi State. That is pulled to the left side and a base hit. Even with the shift on, Jones hits right through it. Leadoff man on board for LSU. 3-2 on the way. Swing to LSU. We're at the top of the sixth inning. Off speed, and that is ripped to first base. It's going to turn into a double play. Right to Hunter Hines. 1-2, and he goes down, swinging at that breaking ball down and in. 2-2. A swing and a miss. And for the first time today by either team, we have ourselves a 1-2-3 inning. This one's out toward center field, and the base hit to lead off this seventh inning. Braswell with his first knock. Defense for Mississippi State pretty much straight up, and Milov goes down swinging. Challenge him at 95, one away. And a walk. Understand the situation, understand when they're going to pitch to you when they're not, and clearly they're not going to pitch to him as they're going to put him on now. Yeah, I figured. The pitch. Called strike three, took two fastballs after getting ahead of two and one, and LSU will leave him loaded. A lot of walks in this game combined. That is a called strike three. Got him looking, painted a fastball on the inside part of the plate, one down on the season. This is back toward the middle, and Milam can't come up with this one. 
a chance again coming through. A two out base hit keeps the inning alive. Chance over at first base. Here's the 1 0. Ground ball toward the middle. It's a base hit. Chance on the move will head to third base easily. And Mississippi State had runners at the corners with two outs here in the seventh. Mershon on deck. Here's a 3 1 pitch. And is lined out to center field. That's going to fall in for a base hit. One run is in. Rounding second and headed to third is Stevens. As the throw comes back toward the middle of the infield. It is a two run deficit for Mississippi State. 9 7 LSU. Listen, Brock down the first, first base line and into the quarter. One run is in. Larry will go to third. He's going to try to score. The throw to the plate is. In time. Hot smash down the line that Jared Jones could not hang on to. But it held scoreless since then. Trevinsky chops this one towards short. Backhanded by Mershon. Gets up. Fires over to first. And the throw gets away. Trevinsky will reach. And just kind of leaks it back as it runs back. That's a swing and a miss. The ball goes up the first base line. And Pearson will reach. That's a strikeout wild pitch. Runners at first and third. Boy, these are these situations in ball games where you got to be really good. When you don't need a base hit to score a run, can you figure out a way to do it? Mershon to Larry, the relay back to first and dug out of the dirt. A double play to end the inning in the threat. 3 0. And there's ball four. Lead off man is on board. That is pulled in the left field, a base hit. Jordan will stop at second. Ground ball left side down the line. Backhanded at third. Get the fourth shot. Throw to first base. Got him. What a play by Stop Tommy it. White. Third Stop of it. this ball game. Tommy White, are you kidding me? All we've heard about is the bat the last two years, but I'm telling you what, they have certainly shut this LSU offense down. And there's a leadoff walk. Shows bunt, drops one up the third base line. Nicely. Laid down. Schulke throw to first. Got him at first. What a play by the pitcher, Camp Schulke. I just can't imagine they're going to pitch to Tommy White here. Yeah, there it is right there. Two balls, two strikes, 9-8. LSU here in the ninth. The pitch. Called strike three. Got him looking. And we will head to the bottom of the ninth in Starkville. Transfer from Memphis. 1-0. Bouncer toward first base. Grabbed at Nockenhausen. Covering. They get the first out. This one's popped up to shallow right field. Milam is going out. Chopper to the right side, gloved over at first base. And that'll do it as LSU picks up the victory tonight by the final of nine to eight.